hello everyone welcome back in today's video i wanted to share some new finds that came as a solution and better option to some problems and challenges that i was experiencing in the kitchen so hopefully you can get some ideas if you're facing some of the similar problems that i was facing and if you find today's video helpful and want to show your support it always helps if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future videos thanks so much for joining in and let's get started First of all, I wanted to share some changes that I made to my under sink kitchen organization. In my previous kitchen organization video, I shared Lazy Susan idea. However, that wasn't working so great with a lot of bulky equipment being installed under the sink as you can see there. So I came up with this minimal solution that's working well for now. On one side, I have uh, dish soap and cleaning sprays in one basket. And on the other side, I've used a horizontal cabinet organizer to add height and make use of the vertical space I'm cleaning microfiber cloths on the top and my cleaning sort of caddy brush holder gloves holder um, and then down at the bottom I have extra cleaning brush and stuff on the door I hung a basket using command hooks which has a sink stopper baking soda that I keep in a salt pepper shaker you know handy that I showed you in my previous home hacks video and a small candle that I sometimes use next to the sink when I'm having people over for dinner and stuff and on the other side I keep the everyday microfiber cleaning cloth on a command hook as well for easy access. The plastic bags from the grocery stores can really accumulate and they multiply so quickly and they not only create clutter but also so bad for the environment so problem and challenge both i decided to replace them with these eco-friendly reusable grocery bags from amazon links will be in the info box below if you want to take a look and read the reviews and i have other reusable bags too but they are big and take up too much space and i oftentimes just forget them in the trunk when i'm making the grocery store trip i love the fact that these are so compact and the case is so easy to clip on to your grocery store cart or handbag and they are similar size to what the grocery stores use and very easy to put in and take out the carry case as well. These bags are light as a feather but very strong, durable and comfortable in your hand when carrying the groceries into the house. The material is windbreaker type and it's machine washable. So to make use of the vertical space, I have horizontal cabinet dividers and pan holders that are great for everyday pots and pans. However, the lids were creating clutter. So I was looking for a solution that would free up some space in the cabinets by keeping them cleared of cluttered lids and found this amazing pot lid organizer on Amazon. It comes with screws, but I decided to use a big command hook in the cabinet instead of the door of course you can install it on the door also i love the fact that now i don't have to pull every pan and lid out of the cabinet to get to a lid and they are right there for me in plain sight i absolutely love this one You might have gathered from my previous organization videos, I'm trying to minimize the use of plastic. I mean with the 5 year old it's not possible for me to completely remove plastic but I'm trying my best. So with that in mind, I replaced the heavy duty plastic ziplock bags in the fridge with these reusable eco-friendly option. These are BPA and lead free, they are machine washable and they have a drawstring and they come in different sizes. Again, the links will be in the info box below if you want to do your own research and like to read up on the reviews. So despite their strength, these bags are still see-through, which I really like, and they are lightweight. They do a great job of maintaining the right amount of moisture in the bag, so everything tends to last longer, I think. I'm very happy with this purchase. Thank you. 
Now finally, I wanted to share a couple bonus tips there really quick. A lot of people ask me, what do you keep on your countertops? So I keep my countertops as clear as possible. Kitchen is the heart of the home. And with my busy schedule and lifestyle, I figured the only way I can keep up with the cleaning is to have very less stuff on the countertops, which makes it very easy to maintain and clean. I do seasonal corner scapes occasionally, but that's about it. And then decluttering. And I say this in pretty much every organization video that I have shared, declutter from time to time. That is the only way to stay organized. I know some people do extreme decluttering at one time, but that's not a viable option for me as I know I would get so exhausted and lose interest halfway. So I try to do it in small batches several times a year. That way, my home stays clutter free and organized. So those were all of the tips and ideas that I had to share for today. I really hope you got some ideas and inspiration. If you did and want to show your support, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.